is Hala Youssef. I live in Port Coquitlam, BC on the unceded and traditional lands of the Matsqui, Kwantlen, Keitsi, and Samyamu First Nations. I was born in Cairo, Egypt, but moved to BC when I was one and a half and was raised here ever since. I am a photographer, but I also consider myself an environmentalist, an activist, and a well-being advocate. And those three areas are really what fuel me and are interconnected with my photography practice. With this love of photography comes the responsibility to ensure that I'm, I'm using my love of this art and using my lens to create impact and share the stories that need to be seen and heard. Screenshots of Home is a virtual portrait series documenting people all over the world in their homes over FaceTime. Going into this photo project, I knew I wasn't doing it in my typical way. I wasn't using my DSLR. Instead, I was using my phone and FaceTime to capture portraits of over 40 people across the world. And a lot of the photo shoots that I, that I did, it was with people that I had never met before, that I had simply just met online and through mutual connections. So going into it, I was curious. I was really excited to learn about their stories you know, I've really experienced this in my own way, but I was coming into this looking for different perspectives, looking for different stories of, of all the range of emotions during this time, you know, the really difficult parts of the pandemic, but also the creativity and the joy that was experienced. I connected with families, with individuals, with couples, and they all taught me something different. They all taught me a different way of, of experiencing this pandemic. And when I went in the shoot, um, really the only expectation was that we would create together and that we would just have an open conversation about this time. And we would start the photo shoots by just having a conversation about how this has been for us. And after that conversation, I'd really feel like I would get to know these subjects. Well, it was really like I was traveling without really traveling. Like I was meeting people from all different cultures, different countries, people with different backgrounds and experiences. And I would come into it and um, really just be open-minded about what I was going to hear and the experiences. And I wanted to just practice on um, practice deep listening and, and just active listening because they would be sharing this. And I was really, um, you know, I really acknowledged that they were sharing their story. And a lot of the time it was difficult stories to be sharing. Going into someone else's space is really interesting because that's something that really inspired this project. Suddenly, over Zoom, we would be seeing people's backgrounds, we'd be seeing people's homes, the pictures on their walls, and we'd be getting re a really intimate look into their spaces. And so I was curious to explore this more in a photographic way. You know, in my usual photographic process, I have full control over the camera, but in virtual portrait sessions, that changes. In a virtual portrait session, it is a collaboration between myself and my subject. It's a mutual process. And really, I enter into a, a virtual photo shoot and I have a vision and I'm guiding the, the practice in the session, but it is really their hands on the lens, which completely changes from my usual practice, which makes it all about trust and communication. There definitely were barriers that we had to overcome, such as technical challenges, time differences, and um, you know, glitchiness of the images. Um, so those were the challenges, but with that came resilience. And I think that allowed me to capture and share the story of this time more authentically. Thinking about different pieces of stories that have really stuck with me. And there is, you know, Kaylee in, in France who has dealt with loss in this time. But through that loss and difficulty, she's also felt like she's connected more deeply with her family and her creative practice. And Leisha in Malaysia, you know, she said that she's dealt with a lot of anxiety in this time, but she's also found that she's been able to connect more deeply with, with her daughter and feel like she's gotten to know her daughter more. So there's all these different bits and pieces of people's stories that have really connected with me, and I, and I really hope that through them sharing that, they'll connect with other people. It's now been almost a year since my first ever virtual photo shoot, so there's been a lot of reflection that has happened in that time both in my photographic practice, but also in my personal life as well. You know, as a photographer, this project really taught me that there are no boundaries to photography. 
that um, you know, I can move past the equipment and look more into the storytelling aspect and know that there's always a way, even with the challenges. Seeing the series um, in a physical way up in the windows at Evergreen is really beautiful and it adds a whole new layer to the series because the whole process has been virtual. While I was sharing it on my Instagram platform, sharing these stories and these images, a viewer once added their perspective and observation about the project and they said, this project gives a window into these people's lives. And I think having it up in, on the evergreen window really takes us literally that the people walking past will be able to stop and, and read these stories and really get a perspective into these people's pandemic lives and, and maybe think, you know, I, I relate to that on a, on a personal level. Um, and that's really beautiful is that it allows a wider audience to take a look at these images, whereas it was just virtual and on, on social media, but now it allows the community to be able to really connect with these stories and these images.